that's like for me, so... We've been going for 40 minutes. I want to try and get two hours of a stream done. But depending on, you know, tide or over. Because I don't know when I'm going to get food down for food. It's free now. I'm not going to do for longer. I should, have, I should be having sushi tonight. Like, mum got some sushi out of the freezer, so I should be having that, hopefully. Also, there should be a stream for Animal Crossing tomorrow. So hopefully that will be something coming up soon. Now, I do want to try and maybe in the future do some more mobile streams, whether it's Fate or, like, recently I've been playing um, the, my, the new My Hero game, which came out globally. I can't explain to like mix the, like my emotions right there because that is just so adorable. I really, really love you, you know that. But this stream got really mushy. <laughs> I'm smiling so much, I'm not like an idiot right now. I need to drink some water. I really do love you. I really, really do. That's all I can keep saying. You're so sweet. I don't know what to say back in like return. Like at all. I'm so lucky to have you there. <laughs> I know but it feels like I should. I'm smiling so much right now. <laughs> you really do make me happy, you know, but you really, really do. Okay. Back to focusing. Building work outside right now, really. I hope I make you as happy as you make me feel. Of. I really do. Obviously, when the message just sounds like so, but you know. Okay, I'm, that, I'm really glad about that. One of these days, I will fix the game audio, I promise. I just don't know how to sort OBS out. Ready. Okay. 
Okay, this dude is like obsessed with unknowns and if you send like you I think I need them on my accounts. On my like actual versions. <laughs> you show more the form of unknowns, you'll eventually dig through. You're not alone there. I'm trying to focus so much, but all I can do is like wanna scream giggle. Okay. That's an interesting thing, yes. I don't want to deck anyone, okay? A funny memory. <laughs> I think I'd give my mum a heart attack. And our family is has got heart has got heart issues, so you know. <laughs> like we were talking about um, a family and the funny thing is, and I know this is this is this isn't funny, but it's funny for us. Like from my mum's side of the family. Her dad's side is prone to heart conditions. Her mum's side is prone to cancer. So we're like, yeah, you know, that's a thing. Their blood pressure's been really bad though. Like Chris um, had his blood pressure checked, and he's okay because we were concerned about him. But my mom's blood pressure is supposedly really bad. I haven't had mine checked, but I do need to. But I don't feel like mine's bad. I haven't had mine checked in um. A year and a half. I didn't like that. I really would. It just sounds like it'd be really fun. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I know, okay, it's neutraled out because of ghost token, got it. Because bush normally affected against dark. This makes all the sense as a bush being affected against dark types. Yeah, apart from my mum having bad blood pressure, she's been doing pretty decent. My dad's alright to follow now. Like, my dad's side, the family seems good. Although my family member did pass on my nan's side. Yeah? Uh, Carnivine. Carnivine's a weird looking Pokemon. Yes, I remember her. You need to punch your lights out. Oh, is that so? I hope she has a VPN active. I don't know but um, shoot. I hope for her sake she has a VPN active so I can't find out where she lives. Now that's kind of like, ugh, that's like weird, Just, like don't do that. Sin is like the evil cat. She'll pull her eyes out. 
one thing on a move set, she might just slow down she's like, she's actually in a happy mood. Let me make people do that though. Like, you know, once that stuff gets on the internet, you can't get it off. Oh, now she's acting like your boys, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of warning bells right there, love. People like that, sadly, in my opinion, I honestly think they have a lot of, um... What's the word? They have a lot of insecurities. Exactly, issues as well. They have a lot of insecurities and issues where they think just because they have this out with you above that they're going to be, like, fine. So, you know, she needs to sort of alone issues first before she goes after the person I'm with. I don't know who she is. Locker. <laughs> you need an adult. <laughs> I know just I know just hit 21, but I'm not really an adult. My mind is still running in circles, screaming. That judge. You could send me her info. And I could drop her a message and be very civil about it. Okay. Cheating's one thing which, like, I've always been very iffy about. This is getting a weird conversation thing, but. We had it happen close in my family, like my granddad cheated on my nan, which people who know me, they, I do talk like this. And it happened all throughout sort of like my mum's growing up, and it basically happened till his death. And so like I said, my granddad's side has heart conditions and he died of a heart attack a few years back. It happened 2017 Christmas, if I remember, because it was just before he was 18. And he did die of a heart attack. And funny enough, it's not funny enough here, he cheated on the woman he cheated on my nan with. And in the end, he was left to die by himself. Which, he might be my granddad, but he deserved it. So I'm just going to say, he did deserve it because he left a loving family for basically a fucking whore. And the woman herself seemed like she was okay. She was an animal lover, so she seemed all right. But the one time we went to, um, one time we went to my granddad's when I was like six, the first, the first and only time I really ever saw him properly. My mum made sure that she wasn't in that place at all. She specifically made sure that she didn't, she wasn't the place because she knew she would have probably like punch you or something. I think in the rest of the family this hasn't happened often. I think there might have been a few cases where things are a bit iffy with some of them but that's like the big thing which stuck out like to me when I was growing up because I knew about it. I don't know, I don't know my granddad back much. I last saw him I think when I was like nine or something. He used to come around uh, mum says the last time the last time she saw him must have been when we first moved here to our current house. And Mum says he turned up at the house. She would have been probably either just as I was starting high school or just as I was ending primary. So I'd been between about 10 and 11 at the time, that's when we moved in. There's always been a bit of an iffy relationship with my granddad. That's why I say that my nan's friend Jeff has been more of a granddad to us because he took us all, like, he basically acted like a granddad. We never called him granddad, we called him Jeff, but he has been kind of like a granddad to us. So, like, there's that. Oh god, I keep hitting the one button. Okay, where my dam, um, keep it blue, my dam, that's fine. Okay, back up, back up to the Pokemon. 
Mac Punch should be coming up. I believe this is Waffle Ground. No, it's not. It's one of many things. There's over like 800 Pokemon, I can't remember every single toy. I'm going for over an hour, which is fine. This might kill. Okay, just barely can run, that's fine. Send a message when you streaming. I think. Let's say it again. <laughs> My brain gets so. Uh, okay, we think that's fine because it's um, Bug Steel. Was it from Ground then? It could have been Bug Ground. If Bug Rock, it would have been neutral damage because Bug would have cut out the fighting type thing, but it was. And it could have been Bug Rock. Oh yeah, if I want to do this one, um, I want to get at least to the next gym by the end of this episode. I want to find quick enough, um, like, speed up this playthrough, but it's been dragging on a little bit too long for my liking. It feels really bad to say, but it's how I feel about it. Um, okay, ghost. Really. Let Max help you kill us. What's she done now? She usually ignore her. They get bored and they don't have enough attention. Like guys if you saw me if I ignore them eventually they just disappear. If you gotta give the attention they want, they back off. It's no longer fun for them. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Like, how old is she? Two? Oof. Muta. I say you have two switches basically. You can either mute her DM so you can't see the messages or you just block her. Simple as that. When people do it to me, I just either block them or I just mute their DMs and I don't see them until they've decided they're going to, you know, act as responsible. And most people who talk to me on a, like, a normal basis, if they do it, they normally apologise afterwards because they're like, like I tell people, if I don't read your message, it's. Oh, I see. I trust you. Like, most people with me, they kind of understand, but if I don't reply to a message after looking at it or something, but I've most likely got in the fuck you mode mood set. This should one shot. Stuff. I just want to know how on earth fairies effective against dark like okay dark makes sense fairy effective against dark makes sense fairy effective against dragon doesn't make sense to my mind I could see it in like the olden time fairies like you know the more scary type fairies it could make sense but like when you think of like teeth but I know that it doesn't really make sense like don't like the cutesy fairies doesn't make sense like what's what I have a panic attack. I used to suffer really badly from panic attacks. Oh! But this was a quick enough. Okay, so, you know, I saw my friend Darcy well on all in the stream. Well, she messaged me um, a while ago. Here we go. Telling me the, the Comic Con tickets. Well, when they're coming on sale. Because I haven't seen it in like over a year. 
the last time I saw it was the end of 2019 when we first actually met up. And we were, we were supposed to meet up last year with Comic Con, but because of coronavirus, it got cancelled. So we didn't really meet up, sadly. So it's quite sad about that. Anyway, the tickets are supposedly going on sale again soon, and we're going to be meeting up. So I'll be super excited for them. So I told my dad about it. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute, though. Um, so like, I told my dad, and like he now knows. So I've told him. Yeah, I am as well. We're excited. Like Lydia, um, should be staying over at that time as well because she's the one coming, coming with me. Because for my twenty-first, um, my dad's partner Sue. Her sister and mother said that they all buy um, a ticket for me and a friend to go to Comic Con. So they're covering the ticket cost, which is super nice of them. So I've chosen Lydia to go with me because it's like the thing we do now. So I said to Dad, like, Lydia will be coming with me. We're probably going to do what we did last time, which happens when she first did this, where we stay over with mine and then my dad picked one way there. Off, like, from my mum's. So we're super excited to meet Darcy and Courtney again. So we were chatting about it and I need to basically decide on a cosplay. Now the first time I went, I went cosplays as I cosplayed as Kimiko Toga from um, My Hero Academia. That's what I first met, and they were dressed as um, Darcy was dressed as Todoroki, and Courtney was dressed as Ochipo. Lydia didn't cosplay, didn't want to at the time, so we was all like cosplayed. And it was super fun to do. Well, this time I don't know if Courtney's gonna dress cosplay as, but Darcy is um, thinking of cosplaying as Enkidu from Fate. Now I have a Mamori um, Satsuki cosplay, which I wanted to do last year, which I have set, so I'm thinking if I don't go with that, that's, that's not my backup. I'm going to try and get myself a Medusa cosplay from Fate, because I kind of want to cosplay as Medusa. I wanted to cosplay as her for a while, but I'm just trying to think like how to get cosplay done. Now I have an idea for it. Like I will have to probably get another wig, because the pink wig I have is not the correct. Medusa's hair is quite purple, and I need to go through a bit, a bit, like other bits and pieces as well. But I have an idea of how I can do the cosplay, so I'm quite excited to do that. But I need to start looking into it. I should get like fabric paint as well. There we on that one. Oh, I think it's that. That's Cammy, I think. That's Kami. I actually really like Kami as a character. I like cosplay as a little character on my hero, then who are cosplayers? Like, I did Toga because she's like one of my favourites. And I just remember we went, there was like so many of us Togas. There was like 10 plus of us all running around. I prefer Umbra and Espeon. They're my two favourites. But that's only because of um, Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon Coliseum, like, was one of my first big Pokemon games I got, like, obsessed with. And because of that game, became, they, those two became my favourites. Who do you? I only have a Koi on him, though. And I'm trying to focus on getting um, Eshon and Umbreon. When I next go on the game, I'm actually playing it, and I'm not playing it. Sorry, Gabite. This is why we're not doing a Nuzlocke, because Chloe isn't paying for attention. She zones out constantly. Okay. That's... interesting. Ooh! A Gyarados. <laughs> he used the Master Ball in a Gyarados. I can't say anything. When I was younger, like, on my original Pokemon Pearl, I have a Sneasel in a Master Ball. <laughs> my stupid self threw a, threw a Master Ball at a Sneasel. Like, my dumb seven year old self threw a Master Ball at a Sneasel. And of course, it's flipping caught. <sighs> yeah, young Chloe wasn't the most. I'm not sure I switched on, but. 
I'm not most switched on to this day still. Young Chloe, Young Chloe was Mew. Um, you can't catch Mew in this game, but you can't do over. I believe Mew might be possible to get in Let's Go, in, um, in Let's Go, in Go. So you've used probable plus DLC add-on thing to get in in Let's Go. In Go. Probably, Mew would probably be done by an event or something. Like, he won't, he won't just be roaming around, I don't assume, but he probably is available in the game. Yeah. Uh, Vaporeon, Vaporeon, Vaporeon. Let's Google real quick. I know I have over 100 tabs up on my phone, but can you be a little quicker, please? So lucky. I think my highest is, um, in the 2000s. Okay. Mew. Pokemon Go. Yeah, I'm using Pokemon Go. I just need to catch me. I'm looking at the information now. Yeah, so you can get me in Pokemon Go. It just requires you to do a specific amount of quests to unlock me. Okay, cool. Okay, I think a Mega Drain. See, for me, the only time I, only time I ever get gym leaders when I know my dad there's a house there's a um so the poke stop right by the house so i can get it basically for being in my house here i actually have to go out and walk i don't know what do we get if we can support a funa primate Oh god, is it that bad? See, this is what happened when I have the chat logs um, on the actual like stream itself, like I used to. Because then it'd just be like, eek. I'm not, no, I'm not making you admin. I don't know, I don't know why you want admin, but I'm not giving it to you. You gotta, you do something weird if I give you admin, I just know you will. You're a good admin. Think about it. I'll think about making you admin, okay? Oh no. No, you love you don't need a third monster, okay? You you've had you've had enough. It's time to calm down. And here's me winning on literally nothing. I'm lit I'm legit winning on like water. My second glass of water of the day. And then toast. Because all I've all I've had to eat today is toast and you didn't sleep last night. Why didn't you sleep last night? Oh my god. I actually said really, actually said really good. <laughs> And again, people know I like my sleep too much. Mum told me I looked knackered though yesterday. I was running on whiskey and milk. <laughs> See, that's scary. Running on whiskey and willpower is terrifying. 
I think the one time, like, I... The one time I didn't really sleep or felt the night was, the, like, last year. Where, for some reason, like, me and my sis, we were... Um, we were staying, we stayed awake until like 6 in the morning for me and 7 in the morning for her. Making Discord servers, they were like our first two servers ever made. And that was like a few days, a few days before my birthday and we stayed awake doing that. That was like fun. Oh god. Yeah, you, you, you've had a little too much now. You're very hyper. Don't get me pulled by your neighbours. <sighs> I'm still tired. Ones off. Okay, so now with Eb singing a song for everyone to enjoy in the chat. Plenty dose, plenty dose, plenty dose, plenty dose. Plenty dose is a weird, weird Pokemon. Actually, like it's designed by Freak Dog. Yeah, I want to take the next few minutes just to push up Castle Force because I can. Okay, so you know about those coconut basket pushes I was talking about way right earlier in the stream? And those super coconut basket pushes? Well, I ordered them off CD Japan. Like a good. a good few months back. Like ages ago, I think. And they cost me an arm and a leg. They were quite expensive. Yes, there's, there's, there's a baby key, they're sleeping. He's in, he's, he's in orange pajamas. First them on the cooker basket, go look. I'm not throwing Kagami! Actually, the sleeping Kagami is like drawing ever so slightly. It's so cute. But, um, so, I ordered them a while ago, and they, obviously I ordered them all, and I wanted them all to ship together, so that both the cost up more. Now, as we all know, best custom charges, which, understandable, thieving bastards, so, so, I guess you're a separate example. No, say he's happily sleeping at a Tetsu right now, they're happy, they're holding hands. So, um, we had a bit of an issue, you know. Customs, but that's fine. So I said to my mum while I was away, if a parcel force customs thing appears, can you please either send me the info or can you pay it yourself and I'll pay you back? Because obviously there's an issue where you know if you don't if you don't pay the customs and get the items delivered in some amount of time, they go missing. As was the case when my nan ordered two Madoka Magica figures for me and my cousin, and they cost her over like 300, 400 pounds in total, and then it went missing, so they got the money back off them. So I'm always a bit sceptical when it comes to Parcel Force. So... I got back and it was last week, about Thursday I believe, when I got the letter. So I, I opened it and I looked at his notes telling me I've got to spend um, about £60 on the customs. So I'm like, this is great, but I, I paid the customs to go upstairs, I put it in. I paid the customs, I gave it delivered to come to on the Friday. Because what happens with Parcel Force is, we have we can have three we have three we deliver or delivery on Mondays to Fridays. Saturday deliveries cost you twelve pounds and Sundays they don't deliver. So you know I thought it will appear on Friday. So I checked on it, I put it through, everything's okay. So I wake up on Friday, go, 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 go about my day and it gets to you know four five actually no, it gets to about one in the afternoon, two in the afternoon. Normally Castle Force delivers my items between a so I get my items between about 12 and 1 on that time. So I'm like, this is weird, it hasn't arrived yet. So I pop on, like, I pop the tracking in, and the tracking info is quite pure. It said, awaiting customs, customs paid, out on delivery, 
an hour later awaiting customs payment. So I'm like, okay, this is interesting, you know. So I check my phone, because I, I, I have a banking app on my phone. So I, I check my money. And the customs, like, payment is pending. So I'm like, okay, this is, this is weird. So I wait. Nothing. Saturday. The money goes through. So I'm like, okay. Maybe it'll turn up uh, Monday. So Saturday goes, Sunday goes, Monday goes. Nothing. So at this point, it's Monday night, yesterday. And I'm sitting thinking, it's been five days, more or less. My parcel better still be there. So at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit worried because Parcel Force is, is, is known for some items going missing, like my Nando's I mentioned. So I'm, I'm getting a bit worried at this point. So I check again, but the money's gone through and it's still saying waiting. So I go on re-delivery. Now normally you can only re-deliver if you have a card. Now they never even attempted to make, like, you know, delivering it. They never attempted to deliver the item. So I didn't even work. So I put down the date because I asked for a date on the card. I put the date then as the date I got the letter for the customs charge, which was the 31st. I believe it was the 31st. I think it was the 31st, yeah. So that actually, no, that means that I had the customs letter like the thing, um. Had the customs letter like. Ages ago, right? So I put it down as the date for. So I thought, you know, I'll give it to you today. I've, I've really delivered, I've probably delivered the date, and we'll see what comes through. So I'm sitting eating breakfast. I woke up at half ten, didn't go downstairs till half eleven. Um, I was staying in bed reading for a bit to wake up. So I went down at half eleven, and it was between half, it was about hard to say getting on the twelve, and the guy was at the door knocking. So I'm literally only wearing a really short nighty white now, which just like barely covers like it barely covers my underwear basically, because I like really like short nighty because I just really want my. So I got the door and like the guy's there and I'm like, hello, and he's like, name, so I give my name and I get the parcel and I'm like, thank you. And I walk in the house and I close the door. <laughs> but I came, I came to the door in the nighty with like, I'm still munching on a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> and I think the guy was just like, what the hell? So I was kind of like, do I need to sign anything? No, okay. So I got the parcel pop it down and there's this like huge like soaked patch at the bottom and I'm going if it's fucking damaged I'm gonna go ballistic so I sat down finished went, obviously went and washed my hands properly before I back to eat ate put everything think away opened the parcel went to wash my hands again came back took them all out but because of how um CD Japan packages their items the items themselves are always packaged in um, plastic paper but then they always also repackage it in um, cover wrap. So the hilarious thing was, with these coconut baskets come with the following characters. So there's a Kagami Midorima, Kisa, Aumina, Akashi, Kuroko, and Mosaki Bara. Now there's seven, meaning one has to be wrapped by himself. Akashi was wrapped by himself, and I literally lost it. I was like, yeah. They wrapped the Emperor by himself, perfect. So long story short, everything arrived fine. They did, um, they did something though, they did take... Yes, I know, I know! I was like, I was like, he's the only one who ha is not being sat next to someone, I thought, I, I loved it. So, the only thing that happened was, when um, I checked the parcel, they hadn't opened the parcel, but they had um, broken open the seal of, like, documents. And my mum was doing documents, all it says is, stuffed dolls, stuffed dolls, stuffed dolls, just... It said stuffed dolls all the way down. Anyway, it cost um cost me thirty one thousand yen. Thirty one thousand five hundred yen. So if you don't even know the translation, the conversion, you you know that's quite a lot of money. So Chloe's now broke for the time being, but that's fine. She, I I I got my sleeping dolls. I'm happy. But yeah, I don't like parcel force, they're scary. The parcel force is sadly the only place like ritual receives items in. So when I when I when I was obviously just kind of places, parcel force is the only place actually that delivers them. Look at Daddy. <laughs> oh. But um But yeah. Like when I'm ordering out of um other places, like if I order of um places in like, the UK or like other European places, it normally goes through Royal Mail. 
or sometimes permanent. But when I order off like big companies in like Japan or that, like City Japan or when I've ordered off Ami Ami before, it goes to Parcel Force, which then goes to Birmingham. It goes to the Parcel Force Depot in Birmingham. And things go missing there. But I always laugh because I think, you know, if I ever do take my box, the, like the first time I was just like, they're just going to be stuck with either stuffed toys, plastic, or paper. So, good. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, she needs to stop this. It's out of flipping control. She really needs to fucking stop that now, it's ridiculous. I am, I'm, I'm gonna have to message her later and just ask her to push it out. We could probably actually be um, caught up with that. Like, yeah. Yuck. It's gross. Why are people so weird? Like, no one wants to see your tits go. This shit picks up a tits so much girl at porn sites and does. Please don't confuse Rosilia. <laughs> <laughs> so she's basically flat chested. <laughs> yeah, she has self esteem issues. As a person who has self esteem issues, I fully understand, but you know, that doesn't mean you should be going around and, you know, sending these pics to people. It's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Yeah, she needs to um, get some therapy to sort herself out. If she thinks that like doing that okay or going to help her, she's really boring. <laughs> like, if she thinks doing something like that is okay, like for anyone who thinks that it's okay, just to randomly go to someone's DMs, whether you talk to them or not, and send them in inappropriate pictures is an okay thing to do, it's not. It won't be appreciated. I've had people send me dick pics before, and I don't like them at all. He doesn't say those people get blocked or get told to sort their act out. Because you don't really want to look at those type of stuff. It doesn't matter if like, the person you're doing is in, is in a relationship with you, you just don't want to. It's really weird. Oh, helpful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, that's actually really good. Okay, I actually, yeah, I like that. That's something that I probably do. Like, if someone asked me for like a tits pick, I'd send them like a blue or something. You got blocked. Okay, obviously, if I don't then I have a sense of humour to laugh at that. Because if I got that sent back, I would have probably have gone, "Fuck you," but then laughed. But yeah. Some people are really weird. Someone's asking for tea. Yes, exactly. That's what I do. If I, or if I, or I'd spam them with something really weird to freak them out. Like normally, I, normally when people are like being cringy or creepy, I spam them with um, Trump. I spam them with like Trump pictures or gifts, and it freaks them out. And then they, they, they normally just block me. Because one time somebody was sending me hate, so I just kept sending Donald Trump things in return and laughing because they were not taking it well. <laughs> okay, first of all, I hope the video wasn't a real video. Because then if it is, that's kind of sick. But... Yeah. They deserve that because you don't just do that at all.